What's your? Tis but a scratch. Moment. I'm a bartender in a nightclub. One night while working I was pouring a drink, while I reached back with my other hand to open a fridge. And that's when I heard a pop, and got a huge pain in my back slash shoulder area. The pain was pretty bad. But I was sure it was a pulled muscle and there won't be much point in seeing a doctor other than getting meds. So I waited. Fought through the pain which was so bad at times it was making it hard to breath. That was a Friday. I called off Saturday and had Sunday Monday Tuesday off before I went back to work Wednesday. Once I biked into work. In all I waited 9 days total before finally deciding to go to the ER. I had a collapsed lung called a spontaneous pneumothorax. 20 minutes after getting to the air I was put into emergency surgery. I was essentially breathing with only one lung. And any major impact to my chest would have collapsed the other and probably killed me. I got hit by a car while riding my bicycle. Flew through the air. Bounced off his windshield breaking his windshield. My helmet and two vertebrae. Then thrown to the ground where my kneecap shattered, and bone was sticking out of the skin. And as I lay there in shock unaware of how badly I was injured I thought I might be able to get back on my bike and ride home. A couple weeks ago, I stepped on an ant hill and got a bunch of ant bites on my ankles. 3 to 4 days later, the itching was unbearable. I wasn't sleeping, my legs were swollen, and no amount of Benadryl or antihistamine cream was helping the itching. I finally went to a clinic to get a shot, or whatever, because I clearly having some sort of allergic reaction. It was a staph infection, that had spread from my ankles up to my knees. I would have died, if this 1920 instead of 2020. I was on antibiotics for 10 days, and now several weeks later, the dead skin from the infection, is still flaking off. TL. Doctor. Scratched and bites with unclean hands, and gave myself a staph infection. Ignored it for several days, because it was just some bug bites. Back in my baseball days, when I was pitching, I completely lost a pitch, and it beamed a guy in the jaw. He throws his bat down, glares at me with the glariest of glares ever glared, spits out blood, then calmly runs to first base as though nothing happened. It was terrifyingly badass fell off my bike, and dislocated my shoulder, popped it back in, and kept on going. Trapped in earth, but it's okay 90% of the time now. Another time I fell in some glass, pulled out most of it from my hands, and pulled out a piece 9 days after the wound had fully healed. I felt a weird pressure when I hold things, so I had a feel around, and cut the glass out. I broke my neck on a huge Shura Break wave, and didn't want to leave the beach, so I continued swimming and playing volleyball, until my friends noticed my neck was swelling up bigger than my head. Not me but my teacher. She said that one time, when she was in college she was in a classroom and her foot was stuck on something, but she just yanked back and was fine, but she was looking up the whole time. She got to her door and tuck of her shoe, and it was soaked in blood and her foot was stabbed by a loose piece of metal. I broke my toe running up the stairs, and I ran back down the stair thinking I just stubbed it until my toe turned purple. My mate in high school broke my nose in class and the teacher told me to be quiet. I was mountain biking and fell off. I fell down part of the mountain, and into a road, where I almost got hit by a car. I got up quickly thanked the driver for not killing me, and then got back on the bike. I knew the road would meet up with the trail I was on, so I could meet up with my group, who hasn't seen me fall. When I got to them, one of them looked at me and was like, what happened? I got off the bike, walked over whilst we waited for the others, to catch up and just said I fell off. He then looked down at me, and was like what the hell happened? I'm like it's nothing. A few cuts and scratches on my hands and arms. My leg was bleeding from earlier and that was it. Then I looked down, and realized I had scratched off half the skin on my leg from falling on the road. Basically a bad case of road burn. From all the adrenaline I hadn't even felt it. They called someone to come and get me from the mountains I wasn't allowed to continue, and one of the other riders saw my leg, and decided they wanted to stop too. I just went to a pharmacy, 
grabbed some wipes and bandages then we got a drink whilst we waited for everyone else to finish. My first job was as a butcher and I came into work one day with a raging hangover. I sharpened the knives they were crap ones that went blunt all the time and immediately proceeded to cut my finger open. I thought nothing of it, went about my shift, and when I got home to put a proper dressing on it, I found out it was as deep as the bone and I wouldn't get feeling back in the end of it for literally years. My little sister fell down about 15 steps at our grandma's house when she was a toddler. She got up, giggled and went to go eat some snacks. This other time still a toddler she was supposed to be napping. We were in the living room and heard a huge thud. We ran to the room thinking she'd fell out of the bed. Nope. She somehow managed to pull the TV down this was the early 2000s. TVs were heavy af and it fell on top of her. She was laying there in snow angel position and my mom freaked out. When we got the TV off her, she got up and asked for ice. Not to soothe pain but to eat. My little sister was and still is a champ. A few years ago, I was sick. Not fun, but it was only a bug. I'd be okay in a couple days maximum. I started to get an unusual pain in my abdomen as the day wore on, but to me, it was just a side effect of all the throwing up I'd been doing. I spent the night in the spare room for two reasons, one, because I was so freaking hot and two, in case I needed to get up, I didn't disturb my partner who would be getting up early for work. I managed to get an okay night of sleep, with the vomiting having stopped, but I still felt speep. When my partner came to see me, before he went to work, he asked how I was. I still felt terrible, but it was a tummy bug. I wasn't going to be instantly better, but that sharp pain was still there. On hearing that I still was in pain, he insisted on taking me to hospital. I didn't think it was at all necessary, but I was too exhausted to argue. When we got to the hospital, I made damn sure the person at the front desk knew I thought this was a waste of time. After a lot of prodding and questions about if I was pregnant, it turned out it was my appendix in the process of rupturing. I broke my arm at the skating rink and skated for an hour before I even left. Then, after I left there, I went to a playground W my BF at the time and hung out. I didn't go to the hospital until the next day. I walked under a pine tree barefoot and stepped on something that mildly hurt. Went back inside and was cleaning my bathroom when I looked in the mirror and saw whole bloody footprints covering the floor behind me in a line down the hall. For a minute I thought I was being haunted or something. When I was very young I pulled a tablecloth and managed to dump a freshly boiled pot of tea all over myself. I get rushed to hospital. My skin is red and bubbling. I should be in floods of tears. Instead, I proudly point to my ruined skin and proclaim to the paramedic I did that. Over 30 years later, and I still have some scars, but I'm definitely no longer that hardcore. Got blackout drunk while camping and fell hands first onto the grate that had been over the fire for hours. My wife and friends were all freaking out thinking I definitely had third degree burns. I came out of my blackout in the bathroom with all of them trying to wash my hands in cold water. When all the soot came off, I was somehow completely unharmed. Since then I've been known as the unburned. When I was a small dumbass child, I had a habit of gripping door frames when walking through the door. I did not discriminate between the latch side or the hinge side. Door gets closed and my fingers get crushed in the hinge. To the point where there's a dark purple line across them and a tangible groove. My mom starts completely freaking out over the injury, but I, brave little dumbass I was, saw the distress she was in at what had happened. I put on my bravest face my eyes welling up in tears from the pain and said, don't worry mommy, it'll heal. I was right, it did, but still. I was a kid visiting family in West Virginia and was playing with some other kids which somehow involved me being in a tree. I got a little cut on my hand and was inconsolable. Ran to the house for my mom to make it better. She put the smallest of band-aids on it. When I turned around and started walking out of the house she started yelling and I was just looked at her like, what? 
There was a trail of blood coming from the back of my leg. Didn't even notice. Separated two ribs when I slipped going up a staircase. I went down to radiology at work and got an x-ray. Looked at it and said okay no breaks and just walked over to the ear and got two big rolls of ace bandages. Went back to my desk and took off my shirt and t-shirt. Boss walks in and sees the bruises on my chest. Then I said no biggie just don't make me laugh. Told him what happened wrapped myself up and went on with life. When I fell through a window and cut my stomach open. My colon and stomach both fell out of my body while I caught and looked up at my friends bleeding out. Was in shock. But alas tis but a scratch. Still here today. Broke wrist while snowboarding. Stuffed some snow in my glove and did a couple more runs. Fell off my bike and into some wet gravel when I was 8. No big deal. Scraped my knee and got soaked. Played the rest of the day outside and came home for dinner. Went to use the bathroom and when I pulled my jeans off I realized I wasn't soaked from the puddle. It was blood. I had sliced a huge gash in my knee and when I pulled my pants down a flap of skin pulled away and it started bleeding again. My first stitches. Undefined. Broke my tailbone and didn't know for 6 months undefined. Absolutely shattered my wrist. Pulverized a couple carpels into dust. Fractured my scaphoid bone and flipped it 180. Spent two days trying to convince myself it was but a simple sprain. When I finally went to a doctor they rushed me into emergency surgery. Later found out the doctors couldn't believe I wasn't incapacitated by pain. Whoops. When I was younger, like really young, I had escaped from the house and at the time my dad was just about to drive to work. I had managed to get just behind the wheel of the car and got ran over. Got rushed to hospital, and at around midnight parents got a call from hospital, because I was running around the place like a lunatic waking all the other kids up and basically I got away with a car tire mark and that's it. TLDR. I was a super baby who got ran over, and didn't break a single thing. <laughs>